I'm Izu and I am back again with another face cam video. <laughs> I know, shocking. I get overwhelmed very easily. It's hard for me to focus on multiple things and also take in multiple different kind of information, like pieces of information at the same time. And every time a trailer drops, I am very overwhelmed. So some of the things were not listed in the kind of initial teaser page. I don't really understand what's the idea behind creating a website page for the launching pack, but then also a blog post, but then not have the same information in them. Like, I don't understand why they do this, but Today, I am going through all the features that we currently know of the new upcoming expansion pack called Love Struck. So let's just go one by one because I did notes. There's a lot. <laughs> First of all, initially when this trailer came out, there was like a countdown and they were showing the pond in there. It is a heart-shaped pond and there goes like the stone paths around it like either side and it looks like a really pretty pretty place i'm assuming not everything is explorable but some of these walkways at least are and i'm assuming yeah you can um, fish in this pond we can clearly see now that this is a pond and it's not like you can't swim in it i don't i definitely don't think you can because there's like rocks in here and no like clean sand bits to go in there so it's definitely not swimmable i would say but it is heart shaped like that and it is really pretty the, the list isn't really in order but i'm gonna go in some kind of order i guess and related to the park is the blanket and the blanket i'm assuming is an object like an item you can put in the sims inventory like you can drag it in there because it says your sims will be able to hunt for the best spot to try the romantic blanket in the city's gardens which means i'm assuming that you can take the blanket with you then there is the new stargazing animation so it's no longer the same as we had before i wonder if they have changed it so that on the blanket you will stargaze while seated or is it like a new animation altogether or will it replace the previous one because right now we do have a cloud gazing and stargazing animation i don't know but at least there exists an animation now where they sit down and like look at the stars which is really nice i prefer that one to the old one i think and then we have the cupid's corner app which is as we saw in the trailer similar to social bunny where you actually have an app like a physical app that the player themselves can like kind of play with i'm assuming it works so that you first create your own bio and you're allowed to like take a selfie to choose yourself like you can take a picture as there's like a little camera here and you can choose your sim selfie in there then you choose your sexual orientation and who you are like attracted to and then which ages and then describe yourself with a few traits also my cat is here and he's being a menace so i am sorry if you hear something i've heard that in the sims 3 you could lie and say your trait was something that it is not so i don't know yet if it will be so in this one as well or will it just pick your traits like your you can just choose out of your actual traits i assume that since we have now turn ons and turn offs when you create your sim in create a sim or when you play with your sim in just gameplay wise you get these prompts for likes and dislikes and if your sim has certain likes, I think they are tied to the turn-ons and turn-offs. So that then when you go to the matches page, which shows you other sims based on your preferences, it will show you sims that kind of fit your, like what you're looking for. And then for that, you can see if they are turn-ons and turn-offs for your sim 
here like this trait is a turn on so i am assuming you either pick turn ons and turn offs either in cast or in gameplay or you get these like self-discovery type of moments but this matches page is definitely like catered towards your sim you won't see all sims you just see the sims that fit your sims's preferences of course we can see their name their age and if they have shared where they live and then saved are the sims that you save obviously so when you press the little heart here you can save them and then later when you have saved those sims you can add them to your contacts once saved sims can add their love interest to their contacts and start up a conversation so i don't know if it's a social bunny thing like they can talk on the app or do they just exchange the numbers and then like text normally i don't know yet next big feature is the romance consultant that is a career i'm not quite sure i understand what kind of career it's gonna be because it feels to me how they phrase it that it's just your sim kind of promoting love which doesn't fit any kind of career in real life so i don't know how the career works it would have been great if it was kind of like a therapist kind of marriage consultant or like uh, uh that kind of thing but i don't believe it is because it said make a career out of literally loving love as they progress in their career they will earn new ways to promote love for a job well done they may find some cute heart-shaped rewards in their inventories i'm assuming it is like a semi-active career similar to like the social media job and all those kind of jobs where you like stay at home and have like tasks that you can do but i just don't know what kind of tasks then we have the three neighborhoods which are called Vista Hermosa, Plaza Mariposa and Nuevo Corazon. I'm assuming this world is gonna be similar to the size of Evergreen Harbor like three small neighborhoods maybe like 10 to 12 lots something like that i don't believe this is gonna be a very huge world the neighborhoods are a little bit different vista hermosa is a central neighborhood with greenery and walking areas which i'm assuming is next to the park and then plaza mariposa a residential suburban neighborhood so like a few residential lots probably and then nuevo corazon an uptown neighborhood with a small house High rise area so i'm not entirely sure what that means but probably more like a city-esque vibe to that and i'm assuming yes exactly with penthouse suits and upscale venues i'm assuming it has like some of the public venues like the bars and the nightclubs and stuff and then maybe the gym and then the obviously the penthouse here and yes we have a penthouse but i am not expecting any actual like apartments could be i could be wrong we could get something similar to is it again in evergreen harbor that we have yeah we have the kind of smaller two-story houses with like apartments it could be something like that but i'm not too like positive of on that one i think they would say like small apartments or something i don't know but they do tell us what kind of public lots we get we get a botanical garden style cafe slash bar it doesn't have a name so i'm kind of assuming this one is the cafe kind of what we see here i think it is a rabbit hole a similar concept to the flower shop in tartosa where they can go grab a coffee but don't like actually go inside it or if they do it's a rabbit hole they might have some little tables like there's a little table and benches right, right there so they can probably grab a coffee and like sit there maybe this is one of those activities that you can do on the new dating planning thing and then they can dance the night away in the nightclub mirador del amor so it's gonna be a nightclub probably near the the central area in nuevo corazón you might even have your sim renting a room at Beso Rapido to get some much needed sleep or take their steamy date for a little tryst. And I looked up that tryst means some like romantic adventures. So like, you know, 
that kind of a motel room. <laughs> I don't think, I, and I don't want to think that this is an actual motel system. If it is, I'm gonna be really sad because that means we're not getting actual hotels, probably. <laughs> so what I think that this is, is is like an activity your sims can do but you can't go with them it's either like a rabbit hole that you go to like the movie theaters in high school years like you can go physically to the movie theaters but then the sims kind of disappear into that you don't actually see the movie or it's an actual full-on rabbit hole where you just like ask the sim to like friend like should we go to the hotel room and then they just disappear like from the lot you know i don't know which one it is but i'm assuming the former one and the actual world again is called ciudad enamorada that's the whole world and then we also do have a dive bar laguna del abrazo which i don't actually know what a dive bar is I should probably look that up. A small, unglamorous, eclectic, all-star drinking establishment with inexpensive drinks. Okay, so it is definitely this place then with the games and a, like a little stage to play an instrument or something. It's a very low-key kind of bar, just a like a pub kind of bar, not a nightclub. So this is definitely then the Laguna del Abrazo. And then we have the park, obviously. And we also have a gym called Sudor. That one hasn't been in any, any of the photos, neither in the actual trailer nor the smaller like pictures on the blog post. Then we do have an interesting mention about the blanket. I know I'm kind of jumping around, but they do say that from parks where blankets can be set for picnics to food stalls perfect for late night snacks, Sims can declare their love at any number of places in Ciudad Enamorada. Which makes me think, because why would they use the word picnic unless they actually meant picnics? There are so many different ways to say sit on a blanket. So unless they're really, really poorly chosen wording, they have to mean picnics, like actual picnics. You bring the basket of picnic, like where you put the food in, and that can be like put in into your Sims inventory. But until this pack, it's only been possible to put the basket on top of picnic tables. But this seems to me that you can put the basket on the picnic blanket. The, the same blanket I'm assuming that the sims can like woohoo in and all. This is really, really interesting. I truly hope that this is not a very poorly written sentence and it is actually picnics. And I really want to do picnics with my, my sims and I don't really get use of the picnic basket with the picnic tables because I don't know. Where I'm from, we go sit down on a blanket. This is really exciting to me. And I really, really hope it's true. And then we get a new lot trade, which is single hangout lot trade that will attract available sims who are single, which is awesome. I know there is the singles night in the bar. And then you can also use the club system to like make rules that only single people can attend. But it's so much easier if you just add a lottery. Then we have an interesting update as well. So it is a new date planning system. So when you meet somebody either from the online app or just someone else, I'm assuming as well. I think it's just anybody. You can ask to create a date, which is a special date that comes with this pack. And you yourself as a player, you choose the date type, picking a venue, optionally inviting more Sims. So more Sims on a date than just two Sims. So you can have polyamorous relationships and that's something i will come back to a little bit later selecting the activities and goals for the date so everything will be picked by the players and it will potentially work a little bit similar to the event planning like where you plan holidays or stuff like that like you set the goals and you set what your sims are doing but i am assuming that is the the point of it and i really like that idea because we do have a couple of different dates 
dates, like depending in which venue you take your sims to. Like if you go to a restaurant, the goal will be different than when you take your sims to, let's say, to a gym. But it doesn't always work perfectly. So it's gonna be really nice that you yourself can like choose what to do as long as it's not too micromanaging because what i did learn from the wedding nightmares pack is that i definitely despise micromanaging my sims i still don't have that pack and i will never get that pack but anything and everything that i have ever seen about that pack it's just too much and in here they do specify that the activities include playing games chatting sharing food cuddling and then stargazing they have worded it so that it could mean that these are only specific to this pack like you can't pick any activity but i'm hoping that you can pick any activity it wouldn't make much sense if you couldn't so i am definitely hoping that it is all packs inclusive the sharing food makes me think again that the picnic blanket is an actual picnic like you can share the food that you bring there and then i don't know what the cuddling in heart-shaped beds means will it mean that you can only cuddle in the heart bed in the new bed i really hope it means that they can cuddle in any bed and i truly hope that the cuddling has been reframed and worked into the house in sleep because definitely i would like my sims to be cuddling while they slept so i don't know it, it feels weird that they just sleep like this <laughs> like two little cocoons next to each other we'll see i guess but i'm holding my my hopes low for the sims because you know every time i hope for something i get burned that's just how the sims works so i no longer have any hopes for anything well i do have hopes but i'm not expecting anything then they also tell us that we have new romantic interactions include makes me think that there are more than one but at least we get a new kiss which i'm assuming is the kiss that don lothario and katrina are doing this like steamy kiss here this is definitely not in the game just yet so yeah definitely a new kind of kiss animation and then we have the different dynamics we have the wholesome steamy strained and unpredictable so the wholesome is obviously sims get along great they have a good chemistry they genuinely love each other then we have a steamy one which is more into the physical strained which is like complicated like they are still romantically entwined but unhappy and unkind towards each other and unpredictable is a little bit like an on and off relationship it's a little bit more turbulent they go back and forth between fighters and lovers then we have something also equally interesting which is a romance skill so you build this skill by socializing and once you get better at it you unlock new interactions like a steamy makeout session or a neck kiss this is interesting because I thought we already had a neck kiss. At least my sims have been doing a neck kiss for a long time. And I don't think somebody was men mentioning teenagers, but I don't think it's specifically towards teenagers. I thought it was for all. So I'm a bit confused by this one. But nonetheless, we get a neck kiss and a steamy makeout session. Sims also learn to emotionally connect with partners and then scan the room for potential sims open to romance so i'm assuming this works similarly to the wonderful whims one this whole pack is kind of wonderful whims but make it max's match i always find it funny when cc creators and mod makers have made something and then ea just takes it and puts it in the game like obviously they make it themselves but you know what i mean which is good i'm not saying it's a bad thing i just find it funny and I personally definitely love if this works the same way as it does in Wonderful Whims. In Wonderful Whims, you just click your sim while they are on a public lot and you have the option to scan the room. And then when you scan, your sim can either get sims that they are attracted to and it shows a little heart above the, the sims, like the other sims 
head or they don't see anybody and then you get like a little pop-up saying like they couldn't find anybody interesting i think it works the same way but it's gonna be interesting to see how they made it like is it the same or is it a different way but definitely really really cool since this is the picture next to this kind of like where they speak about the scanning the rooms and everything. I am kind of inclined to think that this is how it works. Like dull hearts around this guy's head. It kind of makes me think that that's either them scanning or being scanned. Like you get like a little haze of love hearts around the sims that your sim finds attractive. I don't know, but it makes me think so. And then they specify how the attraction system works and that kind of i think it works similarly to the compatibility like they literally says attraction and compatibility so i don't remember it was it a growing together that came out with compatibility system i'm assuming this works the same way so your sim has like turn ons and turn offs that can be personality or behavior related and that can affect their attraction towards that sim and those include sims traits clothing and hairstyles and even certain interactions so i'm assuming it's going to be based on like how your sims come across so it literally says that they're going to be turned on by a sweet gift some sims might be turned off by gardening or fishing so i think it's also hobby related similar to the compatibility system then we also have the romance satisfaction i think this is gonna be like a level or like a bar i don't know if it's gonna be a literal bar like romance and friendship bars are like or if it's more like an abstract bar if you open the profile of your spouse or your partner you can see a little text saying something like romantically satisfied or romantically unsatisfied or something in between i don't know yet obviously but it does say the romantic satisfaction bridges between the new attraction system and the existing romantic relationship level in the base game and it affects how they think of their partnership and relationship and you can obviously improve it by doing positive romantic interactions and make it more negative with negative ones this is gonna be really interesting i think it can go both ways i think it can add to the game and will feel like relationships of your sims are a bit more meaningful than they are right now or they can make it more laborful like feel like you are doing more work because we still have only 24 sims hours in the game and the game day goes by so quick if you have work if you have kids it is obviously similar to the real life but instead of having a two hour shower we can take a 10 minute shower <laughs> so i'm a little bit like cautious with this one it can turn out to be a bit hard if they don't like tweak it to be in a good level if that makes sense if you constantly have to like do romantic interactions with your spouse like every day to keep them happy that obviously is realistic because most days you would at least if you you live together interact with each other and like you know but it doesn't work like that in The Sims. If we take an example, like sometimes my Sims woohoo three times in their adulthood. Like sometimes there's just no time. <laughs> so I don't know how this will be taken when, when we get this DLC. Will it make it so hard that people don't like to have relationships anymore? Because the satisfaction levels are so hard to keep up. Or is it going to be the opposite where all the sims are always happy in their relationships because it doesn't decrease on its own i don't know it's gonna be really interesting to see how they made this because sometimes even though they try to make something work nicely it doesn't and then it becomes a hindrance and it becomes an annoyance rather than something to expand and make your gameplay more meaningful yeah it's gonna be really interesting to see how this physically works then we get new two new aspirations we get paragon partner and romantic explorer i don't know what these are gonna be because we already have serial 
romantic. So romantic explorer can't be exploring different partners. It's gonna be a surprise. I honestly don't know what these aspirations are gonna be like. I just hope that they're not a tutorial for this pack because I don't like those aspirations where they just tour the pack and that's it. I hope they have more meaning. And then we have two new traits, which are romantically reserved, which is kind of the game equivalent to demisexuals in real life. And that is making me really happy because I am a demisexual. I am a proud little demisexual. <laughs> and this makes me really happy. And then we also have love bug, which is more like head first into relationships and they just like want to be like a serial dater like not serial dater as in goes through people quickly necessarily but like always wants to be in a relationship and just loves love like a hopeless romantic but then they might end up with a bad relationship because they kind of went in head first though this is an Sorry, I have like cat hair all over my face. That's why I'm like constantly doing this, I apologize. This is an interesting statement. They may be met with unrequited love should their romantic advances fail. And this is really something I don't quite understand what they mean with it. Because if I think about The Sims, I don't think they would necessarily have the tools and be able to code different levels of friendship and and romantic kind of interest the game kind of functions in a way that the the sims need to have equal amount of friendship and love in their relationships and i don't think that's gonna be changing anytime soon i hope it will but i don't have much confidence in them actually doing it and then if we don't have different levels of closeness with sims in the same relationship then how is it unrequited because for me to actually do romantic advances towards somebody if i start to flirt with somebody straight without knowing them like at all they're obviously gonna reject me so i'm wondering if this is just a player's tool to work into their storytelling like if you want unrequited love if you want your sim to fancy somebody that doesn't fancy them back you go first and like flirt with them so they can reject you and then you get like in their profile you get like the hurt sentiment and then like a little where there would be like lovebirds or romantic interest or like one of those like romantic titles or like whatever it would say like unrequited love or unrequited crush or something like that since we also don't have crushes in the game like you can't have a crush i know you can get the phone call that somebody says like oh i've been really wanting to tell you that i really like you do you feel the same way i don't remember which pack or is it in the base game even i don't know where it came from so that is kind of a crush thingy but we as players don't have the ability to have our sims actually have crushes so i don't know i don't really know what this means it's so vague and so kind of i don't know we'll see i guess again but it's it's really bizarre how they worded it because this makes everyone well not maybe everyone but me at least it makes me think that we have different levels of friendship and love like it makes me think that my sim is able to have a crush and the crush not like love them back so i don't know it's a strange sentence that doesn't really answer much but it is a really interesting sentence and especially because the next one is love isn't just butterflies and rainbows and butterflies are usually kind of tied to crushes and like first love so yeah i don't know how it works i really really am intrigued about that then we have two new fears fear of intimacy and fear of being alone the, now i remember what i wanted to to say earlier about the romance satisfaction is the wants and fears the system technically is what people really wanted and i wanted but it doesn't work how it should because 
the fears are way too strong since they are tied to the emotions of the sims and the sims emotions are a hot mess it definitely is not very playable every single sim has unfulfilling dreams like a fear and it is really irritating i don't want to play with sims that are constantly afraid of something like that's not realistic and also it ties to the growing together burnout all my sims ever do are they're in burnout it's ridiculous at this point the whole burnout system is also another broken system where it's in theory a good idea and like the whole midlife midlife crisis thing it's like a fun idea and in technical terms it's a it, it works and it's great but then because it's tied to a broken system that is the emotions it's not working in this in the game as it should and the result is that all of my sims are miserable constantly <laughs> and then we also have a mention of counseling they talk about the the fears that have new questions and interactions with them there is even the option to attend counseling and i think since this is mentioned with the fears i think this is tied to the fear of intimacy and fear of being alone however i'm holding out hope that it is an actual counseling that somebody can attend to with any issue like therapy essentially i don't care if it's a and i'm assuming it's a rabbit hole uh, or a phone call i don't care if it is either i just want my sims to be able to like benefit from it and i don't really i actually don't want to attend a therapy session in the sims i do that already in real life so i don't need to do that in the in the game so it can very well be a, a rabbit hole and then we have the final big thing which is a romantic boundary system and this will be free for every player so all players even just base game players will get romantic boundary system and this essentially makes it so that you choose how your sim views relationship boundaries and jealousy which then allows polyamorous relationships which is really cool i'm definitely not polyamorous and i don't really know much about it but i know there are lots of people in polyamorous relationships and it's really really nice for them to be included as well we kind of had a way for polyamorous relationships especially if you completed the serial romantic aspiration because then your partners wouldn't get jealous but it definitely wasn't a perfect system and you would definitely lose love at some points with your sims and um, for that it's really good that they actually are making this an actual full-on system and you can define how your sims approach romantic relationships in terms of physical and emotional romantic exclusivity <laughs> yeah those are essentially all the things we know about this expansion pack so far like gameplay wise it is definitely a big pack i don't necessarily feel like it's a game pack i feel like the theme is like a game pack but i do see that there's so much stuff in it that it does feel like a expansion pack it's just i think it's it's one of those packs like growing together where you just have to play with it to see how much impact it has in your game i do hope that they have done the systems well and that they function well because every pack seems to introduce another new system to the game and we have so freaking many abandoned half working systems and i'm getting tired of it i wish they would rather kind of work with the the old systems instead of building yet a new one and a new one and a new one and then abandoning all the rest since the rest are not getting updated with the new packs but yeah we'll see how that works i am happy if i am correct obviously i don't know but if i'm correct about the compatibility and attraction system i'm assuming it's definitely 
similar if not the same as the compatibility system with like friend platonic compatibility system with growing together so in that regard it is building on an existing compatibility system so they would work side by side being like platonic and then romantic versions of the same system in that way i'm really happy if it is that because then it's only advancing and making it better the existing system and not building a whole new one and just like putting it on the pile of abandoned systems i'm really hoping the the gameplay trailer comes out soon because i'm really excited and kind of intrigued by a lot of this stuff interesting to see what the new romantic interactions are if it's just the steamy kiss the neck kiss that we already kind of had and the new date interaction then i don't know if it's worth it but i love the picnic blanket idea i'm so excited by that the world looks really pretty even though it does look a little empty and i'm a little bit concerned by that but we'll see how that looks when the gameplay trailer comes out and i do like that there is now like a, a romantic attraction system and all the systems that come with this i am cautiously hopeful but yeah, thank you for watching this video. I hope you now know everything that is at least so far has been revealed about this pack. Maybe you learned something new. Yeah, this is just my two cents and my predictions and uh, what I think they mean. And if you did like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, please do. I hope you have a lovely day or night and week or weekend whenever you're watching this video. And I will see you in the next one. Bye! Yes, do you want to say goodbye to everybody?